Hello, my name is Don from Mazir Enterprises. The purpose of this video today is to show you how to change a center section on one of our 100 or 300 series water pumps. The instruction applies to any of our pumps that utilize our standard WP150 or WP350 center sections. Now to identify these, you look for the canted bow tie tabs right and left of the main motor. We'll show you some tricks that you might not be aware of and we'll also show uh, how to recover if the brushes pop out of the front cap while you're making that change. On the bench here I have examples of a 100 series pump and of a 300 series pump. And regardless of which style you have, the first thing that happens is these short screws are backed up, backed off and taken completely out. Okay, so the four the two to the right and two to the left of the four inch motor are completely removed. Okay, now that we have the outer screws removed, the next thing we do on the 100 series pumps is to back off the four screws that go through the four inch motor. Uh, we won't take them completely out, we'll just uh, back them off maybe two or three turns. Little different on the 300 series pump, the only two that we're going to deal with on this one are the ones at the 4 o'clock position and at the 10 o'clock position. We'll do the same thing, we'll back those off two or three turns and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, now that we have uh, the proper screws backed off both on the, on the 100 series, the four screws, and on the 300 series, just the two screws, you need to locate a very convenient screwdriver price slot that we include uh, with all of our designs. So on these pumps, they're both going to be on the, what we would call the driver's side uh, here. So there's a spot just to put a screwdriver in there and lift the center section right off of the, right off of the base. And man, from there, you just uh, com finish removing the four screws, try to keep the whole assembly together, uh, and then it's time to reassemble. Now that your center section is separated, um, you just need to clean up all the gasket surfaces, make sure everything's clean and dry. Your new center section is going to come with a, a new gasket, um, and that needs some treatment on it. You want to put some high tack on it, or maybe a, a thin film of RTV, either one is fine. Just make sure it's got some kind of treatment on it. Um, you place the gasket, line it up, put the center section on, and reinstall all the 1024 hardware. Proper torque is in the 25 inch pound range. Um, and after a few heat cycles, it's a good idea to retorque those. Okay, and now to address some of the pitfalls that you might come across in trying to do this operation. We have gotten more than a few tech calls where the front cap of the motor has come off and you look inside and what we have are brushes everywhere and springs and oh my, what do we do now? Well. There is a trick to uh, getting things back together, but once you know it, everything gets very simple. So you'll notice each of these brushes is spring-loaded. So there's a spring behind the brush. The brush can only really align one way. The wire connecting to the brush has a, has a slot that creates clearance for it. And you'll notice right at the front of the channel, there's a very small through hole. That's the key to our success. We're gonna show you how to, how to retain these brushes using some straightened out paper clips. Okay, so as I mentioned, you'll need four paper clips. And you'll see we straightened out three of them, uh, just, just to kind of give you an idea of how long they, they are uh, when everything's ready to go here. One tip you might want to know, it will be easiest if you go ahead and remove all of the springs out of their channels and get them out of the way and then deal with them one by one. To reload the brush into its channel, begin by putting the spring in and then chase it with the brush. Okay, so spring in. Here's the tricky part, getting it all in there. And once that brush is in there, you need to push it a little past flush so that you can get the paper clip through that hole, right? Through one side, 
and then all the way through the other side. Let's see if I can do it without looking. I don't think so. There we go. Okay, so that one is retained, and after that, we just need to chase it around, do all four of them in the same manner. Okay, once the cap is all prepped and ready to go, um, you need to have the pump flat on a table so you can press down a little bit on it. One thing that you want to check for is that the alignment of the magnet ring is correct. So you want the indicator dot somewhere around the bottom of the pump, okay? Not, it'll, it'll go anywhere 90 degrees around the perimeter there. So you definitely want that down so that the pump spins the correct direction. But once these things are ready to go, all you do is slip that on there. And then, so you take a little bit of pressure because of the rubber boot that goes over the front bearing there. But then you just take out the four paper clips. You can hear the brushes kind of snap into the, their place on the armature. Give it a little push to make sure everything's seated. And then all you do is align it to get uh, the four screws to drop in. Kind of like that. I hope this video has been helpful. Please like our video, subscribe to our channel, and you can always get additional information at Mazir.com. Thank you.